Did you know that over the past decade, monthly dividend ETFs have outpaced their quarterly counterparts by an average of 3% annually? That's not just a difference, it's a game changer. Imagine what that extra 3% could do for your portfolio over time. If Harry invests $10,000 right now in an ETF giving 7% dividend yield and keeps reinvesting dividend for 20 years, he will be sitting on the portfolio of $38,697. But if the same 10 grand is invested in an ETF giving 10% yield, then after 20 years, Harry would have $67,275 in the portfolio. Yes, that's correct. The returns got almost double with the difference of just 3% annual returns. So whether you're a seasoned investor looking to supercharge your returns or a complete beginner just hmm. dipping your toes into the market, this video is your golden ticket. Some monthly dividend ETFs boast average yields that can put your savings account to shame. We're talking upwards of 5% a year dripping straight into your pocket every month. That's like getting a raise every single payday. But wait, there's more. These aren't just income machines, they're secretly fueled for growth too. Can you imagine getting a monthly paycheck from your investments? Plus, the potential for serious long-term appreciation. That's the double whammy power of monthly dividend ETFs with high growth. So if you're ready to turbocharge your portfolio with monthly dividends and high-octane growth potential, you're in for a treat. Stick around as we unveil the top 5 monthly dividend ETFs with the power to supercharge your wealth. Let's dive in! First ETF on our list is JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF JEPI. With a current dividend yield of 7.37%, this ETF uses a strategy of selling covered calls on US large cap stocks. This can generate income and provide a buffer against market downturns. A covered call ETF combines the benefits of an ETF with a covered call writing strategy to generate income from the premiums earned by selling call options on the underlying stocks held in the ETF portfolio. The premiums received from selling the call options can enhance the fund's overall yield, making it attractive to income-seeking investors. However, it's essential for investors to understand the risks associated with these ETFs like low premiums with low volatility in the market and risk of underperformance in bull markets. If we look at the top three holdings of this ETF, on the top, we have Meta Platforms Incorporated with a weightage of 1.76% in this ETF. With over 3 billion active users across its platforms, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram, the social media conglomerate needs no further introduction. E-commerce giant Amazon have the second highest weightage of 1.75% in this ETF, and the third company is Train Technologies with 1.70% of weightage, which is a 150-year-old American manufacturing company focused on heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and refrigeration systems. The CTF is favored among many investors due to its high dividend yield as well as the growth. Apart from the healthy dividend, the CTF has also given the return of 6.63% in the last one year to the investors. Don't miss the end of the video where I will be comparing all 5 ETFs so that you can make a better decision in picking one of your portfolio. Second ETF on our list is Wisdom Tree US Quality Dividend Growth ETF. This ETF takes a more balanced approach, investing in companies that have a history of paying dividends and growing their earnings. While it has a dividend yield of 1.68%, which is lower than some of the other ETFs on this list, but it may offer some potential, more potential for capital appreciation over time. DGRW invests in companies with the US infrastructure sector, think utilities, transportation, and renewable energy. The sector is poised for significant growth due to the government investments in aging infrastructure and the push for clean energy. Top 10 holdings of this ETF constitutes of 37.72% of its total holdings, and if you look at the top 3 holdings of this ETF, you'll see the operating system giant Microsoft Corp with the highest weightage of 7.87% in this ETF. Second on the list is Apple Inc. with a weightage of 4.45%, and then we have AbbVie Inc with 3.96% holding, which is an American pharmaceutical company. It is ranked 6th on the list of largest biomedical companies by revenue. 
In the last one year, this ETF has given the return of 21.65% to the investors apart from dividend. This fund has an expense ratio of decent 0.28%. For those seeking a balance between income and the potential for long-term growth through capital appreciation, DGRW could be an interesting pick. This fund is more suitable for investors having a higher risk appetite than the regular safe playing investors. Now before we jump into our third ETF, here is the shocking secret. Dividends are just one piece of the puzzle. Total return, which includes both price appreciation and dividend payments, is the real driver of wealth creation. So while that monthly check is exciting, keep your eye on the bigger picture. Imagine Harry invested $10,000 in an ETF. Over a year, that ETF pays you $200 in dividends. Also, the value of your ETF grew to $10,500 because of the price increase. Now, let's understand the difference. Dividend return is like looking at how much extra money you got just from dividends compared to what you originally invested. So in this case, it's $200 out of your original $10,000 investment, which equals 2%. But total return looks at everything, not just the dividends, but also how much your investment grew in value. So in this case, it's not just $200 in dividends, but also the $500 increase in the ETF's value. Combined, that's $700. When you divide that by your initial investment of $10,000, you get 7%. I hope you got it now. Now let's head towards a third ETF on our list. And that is SPDR Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF Trust. This is a classic household name in the investment world for risk averse investors who prefer a more stable investment with a proven track record. DIA tracks the iconic Dow Jones Industrial Average, a price weighted index of 30 large well established US companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Boeing. If you look at the top three holdings of this ETF, United Health Group is sitting at the top of 8.28% weightage in the fund, which is a multinational health insurance and service company having market capitalization of over $470 billion. Then comes Microsoft Corp with 6.94%. And on the third, we have Goldman Sachs Group with 6.53% weightage. Goldman Sachs is the second largest investment bank in the world by revenue. This ETF charges the lowest expense ratio of 0.16% only. While DIA offers stability, its growth potential might be more moderate compared to some other options on this list. Since the DIA is price weighted, companies with higher stock prices have a greater influence on the index, and these established companies may not experience explosive growth. This passively managed fund is also suitable for people with shorter investment horizon. DIA currently offers a dividend yield of 1.74% and has given a price run of up to 18.41% in the past one year. DIA is a good choice for investors who prioritize a reliable monthly income and a lower risk investment approach. Now, the fourth ETF on our list is JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF. Remember our first ETF, JEPI? Just like it, JEPQ also uses covered call strategy to generate returns. But the big difference between the two funds is that JEPI is focused on the S&P 500 index, while JEPQ is focused on the NASDAQ 100 index. This fund is relatively new as compared to the other funds in our list. This ETF also invests up to 20% in the equity linked notes from banks and brokers to provide extra cash flow. Imagine you own Apple stock and are bullish on its long-term potential. With covered calls, you sell the right for someone else to buy your shares at a certain price by a certain date. You collect the premium for this option, which translates to that monthly dividend. As this fund is focused on NASDAQ 100 index, so we all have the top tech companies as a part of this fund's holding, which are all high growth companies. Top three holdings of this ETF are Operating System King, Microsoft Corp, with a weightage of 7.51%. And then we have Apple Inc. with 6.14% weightage, and NVIDIA is the fund's third biggest holding with 4.87% weightage. GPU giant NVIDIA has given a return of 220% in the past one year alone to its investors. With the expense ratio of 0.35%, JEPQ currently offers a dividend yield of huge 9.19%, which is highest in our list of ETF 
but its growth might be more modest in future due to the covered call strategy. The fifth ETF on our list is Amplify CWP Enhanced Dividend Income ETF. This fund tracks the S&P 500 Dividend Achievers Select Index. This index focuses on companies within the S&P 500 that have a history of increasing or maintaining their dividends for the at least 10 consecutive years. Devo is currently offering a healthy 4.57% dividend yield, and its price has also increased by 8.45% in the last one year, although it charges an expense ratio of 0.56%, which is higher compared to its peers. Under typical conditions, the fund invests at least 80% of its net assets in dividend-paying U.S. exchange-traded equity securities, and it will use an option strategy to write U.S. exchange-traded covered call options on such equity securities. And if you look at the top three holdings of this ETF, and top one with 8.88% weightage is an ETF consisting other Amplify funds, which, well generate short-term investment cash flow for the fund. The second biggest holding of this fund is Microsoft Corp with 5.60% weightage and then we have the Home Depot Inc. on third place with 5.47% weightage. Home Depot is the largest home improvement retailer in the United States that sells tools, construction products, appliances, and services including fuel and transportation rentals. By focusing on established companies with a history of dividend growth, Devo also offers the potential for capital appreciation alongside the income stream. These companies tend to be financially stable and well-positioned for long-term growth. Although all of these 5 ETFs are good, but as promised at the start of the video, let me now help you choose the best ETF among these 5 so you can make your decision of picking the best ETF for your portfolio as per your investing style. By the way, which of these ETFs already exist in your portfolio? Leave a comment down below. Now, if you're someone who prioritizes high monthly dividend, then JEPQ or JEPI are what you can bet on as they offer the highest yields, but growth might be limited. JEPI might be slightly better due to the higher total yield, but both use strategies that can dampen growth. Both of these ETFs are also suitable for investors having short-term investment horizon. But if your focus is more on stability and large caps, then DIA offers a steady dividend and exposure to established companies, making it a good choice for lower-risk investors. And if you're someone who is comfortable in taking more risk and believes in infrastructure and growth, then DGRW offers a unique play on infrastructure with a lower yield but potentially high growth due to government spending and the focus on clean energy. If you want balance of income and growth and can invest for a longer horizon, then Devo is a good choice for you as it focuses on, well, dividend-paying S&P 500 companies. See, there is no one-size-fits-all ETF. Consider your investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Also, as explained earlier, don't chase the highest yield alone. Total return, including dividends and capital appreciation, is key for wealth creation. Also, check expense ratio of the fund before investing as it can eat into your returns over time. While some actively managed monthly dividend ETFs have slightly higher fees, they might outperform passively managed options depending on market conditions. Also, here's a tip. Rather than cashing out your dividends, reinvest them in your portfolio to maximize the compounding impact and speed up the fulfillment of your financial goal. If you found this video informative, please like it and subscribe for more amazing finance videos.